Good morning. <laughs> it's uh, Saturday morning and uh, getting ready. Keith and Jen and I, it's kind of cloudy today and it's cold. So we are doing an indoor adventure today. And I actually have jeans on today. It must be a special day. Uh, but I wanted to tell you, so last night uh, a camper pulled in and um, it's funny because Keith told me he had met someone this week that was here for the day and it was this guy's birthday this weekend. So he said he was going to come to the camp and celebrate his birthday for the weekend. And Keith's like, oh, I told him we'd make dinner, you know, and celebrate his birthday. So I was taking a walk during working yesterday. I just wanted to stretch my legs, so I just kind of do a loop. Well, as I was over there, uh, this camper was pulling in, and uh, the guy's window was down, and I go, hey, what's your name? <laughs> he goes, Jeff. I go, is it your birthday this weekend? <laughs> He's like, no, it's in June, but we could celebrate it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, because nobody ever comes here. So I was like, must be the guy. Um, so we had a good laugh about that because... Then uh, he came over, I was working outside, and he came over to ask for the Wi-Fi password. I'm like, oh, yeah, you don't get to use the Wi-Fi here. And she charged him $50 for the night. When I was here last year, it was 35 So $50 for basically nothing. You don't get Wi-Fi. And I'll tell you, you know why you don't get Wi-Fi? Because there, were, um, there was a couple who were camp workers. <laughs> They were um, filming corn. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Uh, in a tent or something. And uh, so now because of that, she caught them. I don't know how. Um, but now the rest of us can't use the Wi-Fi. So that's not included. <laughs> so the hot tub finally works. I should say the bathtub. Because we were over there. So we're like, oh, hey, we're going to, you know, after I was done working at 530, it's like meet at the hot tub. And mind you, it just started working just the other day because it wasn't, the heater wasn't working since I've been here. Uh, so we're all sitting in there and uh, having drinks, um, but we can't turn the jets on. She won't let us turn the jets on. So it's basically just a bathtub. And sure enough, we get in there and, you know, it's four of us and we're all just sitting, talking, having a good time. And I said to John, was she out on the deck up there? Because I can see the house from here. And um, he's like, no, she's not out there. And I'm like, mm, okay. Well, sure enough, five minutes later, she's on that freaking golf cart headed towards us, barreling towards us. Uh, put the pedal to the metal. You know, if anybody's having fun, she can sniff it out. <laughs> so she, um, yep, she pulls up on the golf cart and she's like, only two people in the, in the hot tub at a time. She had put it, I guess, on a, there's a sign, but you can't see it if you're sitting in the hot tub. And I guess that's a new rule. And she writes it in black markers. So she just keeps adding. There's no more room on the sign for her to add any more rules. Um, and she's like, don't you read it? You're supposed to read it before you get in. And um, the new guy was like, hey, why can't we turn on the jets? And Or why can't we have five, you know, four people in here? She goes, because it's going to overflow. And we're like, well, we're all sitting in here and it's not overflowing and uh and then he's like why can't I turn on the jets and she said cuz just cuz and um he's like well when I read on the website because we had already told him about her and he goes well when I read on the website it says I get a hot tub and she said well it never said it had jets <laughs> so this is what we're dealing with here but um so then, you know, what's, oh, and then you can't have just one person in there. Somebody has to be with you in basically a bathtub because there are no jets. And, uh, but you can have more than two. Not one, but not more than two. So uh, we all got out. Of course, she ruined the fun. Uh, except for then we proceeded to go to John's uh, camper and we hung out outside and had some drinks and um, him and Keith made pizzas on tortillas. They were amazing. And then uh, I was like, let's pull out Jenga. We played Jenga last year and we had so much fun. Uh, I'm going to put some clips in here. 
No, no this is yeah. this is video. Okay, oh, okay. we're playing Jenga. <laughs> oh, it's going. <laughs> Keith lost. Oh, oh, Keith. He lost with style. Though. He lost with style. Lost yeah. Style, dude. <laughs> he got bricks all over. <laughs>and then we did uh played cornhole you know where you throw the bean bags i didn't get any clips of that but that was a lot of fun too and um yeah and we were i think done and in bed by like nine o'clock but uh yeah that was so fun um and jeff oh, and then this morning keith was up early he ran out of propane so he was freezing it was 45 he said at 2 a.m i woke up it was 45 degrees um so he texted at like seven this morning saying pancake batter's ready made from scratch john you got the blueberries and he's like yeah so um then i went and knocked on jeff's door and he was only staying for the night he's from massachusetts so hi jeff he watched um the paella video uh and so i knocked on jeff's door and then yeah we all sat and had pancakes and coffee and blueberry pancakes at that and coffee and then yeah i just came back to clean up a little bit and now we're gonna go on the adventure so yeah it was a really fun night um yeah I was talking about uh like community and what I love about this you know growing up oh uh, if you were you know I grew up in the 60s I was born in 65 60 70s and we lived in like a you know a suburb but on a street where there were kids and parents and you know, we'd all be outside during the summer, the parents would be talking or maybe having coffee and the kids would be playing. And, you know, you knew right when you got home, you dropped all your books and stuff and just ran outside to go play. And all the parents knew each other. And it was a community, a community. And I realized, like, after being here and now staying somewhere for a while, like a campground, um, that that's what I know I've been missing. I was just talking to these guys this morning that, you know, when I was living by myself, you know, how you, you, when you get in your fifties and stuff like that, you don't go out to the bar. It doesn't even sound fun. Or, you know, if we go out to eat, I'd say, Hey, can we go at four so I can be home by like seven and in my pajamas. Um, and what's great about this is it is a community like, hey, I made the batter, or, you know, and I'm like, oh, hey, I picked up hamburgers and you know, you're still autonomous, like you, know, you have your own space. But it's so nice to just be able to walk over and just have coffee with someone. And then, like I said, you don't have to go anywhere. You know, we just played Jenga last night and we had so much fun. And Jeff this morning was like, you know, thanks for making it such a good time. And um, and that's what it's about. 
so I can see like, I don't know, I mean, I shouldn't say, but buying some land and building a community like this where we all like help take care of each other and nobody's, you can be alone, but you aren't lonely because you can see people whenever you want and you're invited to share everything. That's how life should be. It should be a community, not people just sitting in their home by themselves, you know, and the only way you go out is if like you go somewhere. We don't have to go anywhere here. So, I don't know. I don't know how I differ by land that big, but um, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. But we're going on an adventure today, so let's do it. Let's go. Chuck, you okay? Okay. Take care of everything. Watch over everything. Okay. Chuck says you can go, so I'm going. All right. Let's go. I'm bringing you along. I wanted to tell you quick about a uh, business. A company reached out to me, Parsonver. How come I can never say these business names? Um, so it's a smartwatch. And, you know, I have a Fitbit, but sometimes I want to be a little more, you know, like if you dress up or something or just want to feel more uh, not so sporty, put it that way. Uh, I said yes to this just because I wanted this nice looking, look, at, it's a Fitbit. Well, it's a, it's a smartwatch. So it does all the stuff. Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read everything that it does. And then I'm going to show you, I have to put my glasses on. Uh, so it has like the sports mode, it has your heart rate, is sleep, messages, weather, um, female, you can punch in like the time and stuff like that for your monthly, um, shake for photograph, uh, and yeah, and then it comes with a extra band too. And other people have asked, um, I know a couple people ask like what I wear on my, I like to stack things and all these mean something to me. So, um, you know, I have my, you are magic, good morning. And then I have my be kind bracelets. So I like to stack like that. And so I thought it looked kind of cool with all those and you could see that was just on and i had changed the face so you can change the face and sync it you know they have different options um and so i'm going to show you the watch now i took it off to show you so you turn it on and then if you scroll up those are your messages and then scroll down and that's like the battery and all those other features and then you can scroll sideways and your heart rate your sleep and I know there's more there yep so it does a lot of things and I like this face because it tells me like how many steps everything on here but there's a lot of different faces that you can choose from and so the greatest thing about this is that the regular price is $48.99, but if you use the code, it's only $29.40. I mean, that's crazy for a smartwatch. And the code is Parsonver, so the name of the company, uh, that's what you use to get all that off, and it's $29.40. So if you know anyone that's looking for a really cute smartwatch, um, I highly recommend. I've been wearing it around. Like I said, I don't know. I just think it looks cool with everything stacked too. That's just my aesthetic, my pers my perspective. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave everything down below the link to where to go. And I said yes, because really I wanted, I wanted it because I thought it was so cute. And like I said, just kind of more feminine or more dressy than my Fitbit. Um, so yeah, now I have two smart watches. So now I'm extra smart. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the video. Yeah, okay. We're at the Audubon Indoor Speedway. So, oh, look it. <laughs> Wonder if that's what they look like. Oh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what it's about. This 
this is cute. We're going to wear these. I thought they needed a full name. Oh, yeah, they Might put us on the board here. Uh, just a research and last and final call from Grand they put Keith up there as speed demon because he said that that's what he was. <laughs> Looks like you're going to rob somebody, yeah. <laughs> okay, Keith, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Dad, you ready? Okay, let's do this. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little. How little pain you go. Okay, I gotta buckle in. Okay, y'all buckle the under, ready to go. There's Keith. Good. There's the gas. There's the bike. Let's see how this is gonna go. I'm gonna see if I can do some fitted to it because I forgot my GoPro. Sunday and I'm just cleaning up in here getting ready to go into town to do some laundry go to the gym stop at Walmart you know the usual weekend thing and then I'm hoping so it's hot I just turned the air conditioner off so it wasn't drowning out me talking <laughs> though maybe that might be a good thing but uh yeah oh I haven't been able to like lay out so either it's been too cold or you know we go to the gym in the morning and then by the time I get back uh it's usually time to start work so yeah so I'm hoping to get outside today um yeah but it's an air conditioner kind of day you can see I'm sweating but the warden stopped by I had taken a shower and actually the shower is clogged um and it's kind of like spilling out onto the floor but I don't want to tell her because I'm afraid that she will tell me not to shower in there anymore. <laughs> so I'm keeping that a secret. And I think I told you, so I just paid for my next month. She came up to me and said, Tracy, you know, your rent is due tomorrow by 11 a.m. And she'll only take cash. So I had to drive into town and get it. Anyway, so I was coming out. And uh, listen, I, we all try to just not to stay out of her way. We don't do anything. And she rolled on by to give me the rules again. And she said, she's adamant about us sticking to the rules. And um, she just, she makes up rules as she goes. Uh, anyway, so after this month, I am leaving. I can't take her anymore. Um, so it'll be the middle of February. And I'm either going to go down to the Bahamas. So next weekend, um, I have my scuba certifying and, and it's all weekend. It's from, you know, like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or something. And John, now I think, is going to do it with me so then we all can go scuba diving. But I was thinking I will be scuba certified by then. And I was thinking of maybe heading down to the Bahamas and going scuba diving. 
or I was going to head to the Carolinas. But I've already been through the Carolinas, so let me know where you think I should go next before I go home. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and then Keith went over and said, well, could you make it? Because uh, she likes Keith for some reason. She brought him fried chicken the other night for dinner. John and I don't get that. Um, she's, oh, he asked her if uh, three people could be in the hot tub because, you know, it's me, John, and him. And she said, no, the hot tub's going to overflow. <laughs> Even though there was four of us in there on Friday night with that Jeff that was here. And she could see it was nowhere near to overflowing. She's just a fun hater, just somebody. And you know what? I dealt with that when I worked at law, a law firm. This one lady that micromanaged and just made life hell. Every time she walked by, even though you weren't doing anything, your butt puckered because you were just waiting for her to yell at you for some random, random, stupid, stupid thing. And you know what? I'm on the road to have some fun. And yeah, these rules are ridiculous, especially since we're paying uh, for this. And the hot tub didn't even work that whole time till just now. And we can't turn the jets on. So it's just a big bathtub. So anyway, enough about that. She takes up too much rent in my head. All of us. So I'm done with her. So another month. And I'll be on the road again. Which I'm kind of happy about. I'll miss Keith and John. But yeah, it's time to go. All right. Well, I'm going to end it here. And I... We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Go out. Make an adventure. No matter how big or how small, you don't have to sell everything and move into a van. I did that, but you can. You can. You can be in 78 degree weather too. And go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare. Don't you dare. Forget your magic. Okay. I'll see you with cooking with Keith. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, uh, Keith and John read the comments, uh, and <clears throat> it's just really exciting for them and for me to see how much people are loving the series and stuff, and um, how much they love them. And you can see how well we all get along and uh, just have fun. And so they read all the comments, so you can write something directly to them because. And uh, someone said that they made the paella. And it was great. And a couple people made the curry in a hurry. And it was great. So, yeah. I don't even know what's coming up this week. So, it's a mystery to me, too. So, we'll see you in Cooking with Keith. And then, we'll see you for the next adventure. Okay. Have a great week. Bye.